MRI is a fascinating imaging technology, but acquisition speed still remains a challenge, especially for patients who are anxious, can't keep still, or those who have limited breath hold capacity. These challenges can be solved with Comprehensing, the technology that helps us to go beyond speed by drastically decreasing acquisition times in MRI without sacrificing image quality. My name is Christoph Formann. I'm part of the research and development team at Siemens Healthineers that developed the first clinical application based on compressed sensing, and I'm happy to explain the technology to you. Let's simplify this sophisticated technique by comparing it to everyday things. To understand the essence of compressed sensing, just imagine taking an MRI scan of an apple. Traditionally, we would sample all raw data points of this apple in the so-called case space. This guarantees the highest image quality you can think of, but this also makes MRI scans long. Compressed sensing changes the game based on three golden rules, incoherent subsampling, transform sparsity and nonlinear iterative reconstruction. Let's focus on number one, incoherent subsampling. We will look at both words separately and focus on subsampling first. Subsampling, what we all know from existing acceleration techniques means that we sample just a part of all raw data points. However, subsampling typically is accompanied by a degradation of image quality. For example, either a low resolution image or an image with infolding artifacts. At this point, incoherence, the new part of this technique, comes into the game. Incoherent means that the data points are sampled randomly. So both combined enable two essential things. First, subsampling increases speed. The fewer raw data points we sample, the faster the acquisition. And second, with incoherence, we avoid distinct aliasing artifacts. Instead, incoherent subsampling leads to noise-like artifacts superimposed over the image. Let's find out how we can remove this noise from the image. Rule number two is transform sparsity. First the question, what is sparsity? An image is considered sparse when its informational content is reflected in as few data points as possible. The best example of a sparse MR image is from angiography, with white vessels surrounded by black background. Although the background is often not exactly black, no important information is lost by setting the background data to zero, what means to completely black. So what does transform sparsity mean? Let's go back to the example of our noisy apple, which we acquired with incoherent subsampling. If you have a closer look and select one line of the image, the image intensity in this line clearly shows that the actual relevant information is overlaid with noise, which we ideally would like to separate from the valuable information. Therefore, we transform the image into another representation, where it's easier to distinguish between useless and useful information. For example, this can be performed with the so-called wavelet transform. If we now cut the same line, it's very easy to define a threshold and say all pixels below this threshold contain information that is irrelevant. And what happens? By removing all pixels below this threshold, much of the noise has disappeared and the image has been clearly improved when we transform it back to its original representation. Of course, it is not that easy to separate the noise from the valuable information in case of a real MR image. That's why we need the third ingredient of compressed sensing, the nonlinear iterative reconstruction. Our goal is to achieve an optimum balance of data consistency and sparsity. That means we want to remove as much noise as possible, but not to remove useful image information. Let's look what this would mean for our known example. If we overweight transform sparsity, we would get a completely black image as we would have removed all the image information. And as you can see, there's nothing to see. Let's look at it the other way around. If we overweight data consistency, we filter out too little noise or in the extreme case, nothing at all. This means data consistency will be at 100% but there's no improvement in image quality. Actually, just the image we started with, a noisy apple. The iterative process ensures a balance of both. And after a defined number of iterations, data consistency and sparsity have been increased and have come to an ideal balance. That means we've brought speed and quality in harmony. Thanks to the three golden rules of compressed sensing. Incoherent subsampling for high acquisition speed. 
transform sparsity to separate and remove the noise from the image content, and nonlinear iterative reconstruction to balance data consistency and sparsity. Let's look at the potential that compressed sensing has. Take this cardiac exam. With compressed sensing cardiac scene, our first clinical application based on compressed sensing, we enable high resolution cardiac scene imaging in free breathing. This opens up cardiac MRI to a larger patient group, such as those with arrhythmia or those who cannot hold their breath. As you can see, there is great potential in this disruptive technology. It opens up the way to go beyond speed. Enjoy discovering it.